uh, let's talk about what surgery I had done. Well, what surgery I had. So I had the gastric sleeve surgery. Uh, this is where they reduce your stomach um, smaller than what you had it. Like, yeah, smaller than what you had it. Um, so it makes you eat a little bit of food, literally a little bit of food, and you get fuller faster. Your stomach regularly is like this big. So when with the gastric sleeve surgery, what they do is they cut it more than half of the stomach. Uh, they cut it and they make it smaller. So if it's like this, it goes down to like this. And I think it's like the size of a banana or something like that. So then you can't eat as much as what you did before. So that's um, what I had done. Uh, I know it was a big step for me because I was a little scared, nervous at first, but I know this was something I really wanted to do. And actually one year um, into surgery, I lost like 100 pounds, literally like 100 pounds. Um, and I do not regret it <laughs> one bit. Um, and first, let's talk about cost. So the cost was I paid $4,500 US dollars here. The surgery, it was just for the surgery. Now, um, and it, it, it included 24 hour in the hospital. Uh, sorry, I wrote some things down because I didn't. So it was 24 hours in the hospital, which uh, which was included in the $4,500, and basically that was it. Just the water that they give you. Um, what, yeah, it's basically just water, and it's just a 24-hour stay. Because even for AC and to watch the TV, we had to get um, like rent out. A remote for the AC and remote for the TV so basically you give like a deposit when you take it out and then once you return the remote you I think got like half of it back or something like that I don't know it's weird this was in uh, Chihuahua Mexico that's where I had it done and uh, so it was for the $4,500 $4,500 for the surgery. It was like $300 for the medication. Um, $1,000 for the tickets, round tickets back and forth um, per person. So it was a thousand for me, a thousand for my mom because she was the one that went with me. And I'm pretty, I'm glad like she went because I was gonna go by myself. Like I was already like, you know, I was just telling her about it. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I wanna do this surgery. I'm gonna go this day, this day. And she's like, what? I, I can't not let you go by yourself. <laughs> so she went with me, she bought the ticket as well and we went. She went with me and i'm glad because she was the one that got my medication she was the one that was going up and downtown um trying to get all my stuff that i needed uh so it was that for the hotel it's all up to you i paid like 400 i think for three days or something like that for the surgery they make you they you have to take some tests blood work ekg stuff like that just to make sure that you're healthy enough to do the surgery so uh, i think those were like 300 for the for the test as well and that's out of pocket everything's out of pocket um and yeah i mean that was the cost basically i didn't even waste on food because i couldn't eat it was in um even before surgery i was in one week uh liquid diet before my surgery so once i was there i couldn't eat anything i was just water clear liquids soups that's all so i didn't even waste money on on food at all my mom did though <laughs> um and another thing okay so that's that that's the cost um like the big expenses so i also wanted to talk about pain so pain overall pain overall overall i would probably say like a four out of ten um i didn't feel any pain coming out of the of the er at all i just felt a little bloated because they do put gas inside your stomach and that's easier for them to get their tools around because they don't cut you off they just do like five or six little incisions throughout your stomach and that's where they put their tools in and that's how they get around in there so pain mm, yeah maybe getting out of surgery is zero pain um discomfort i would say maybe like a five because i did uh, you do well i did feel like a little bit of discomfort in my stomach obviously the first time i actually felt a little pain was when i had my first sip of water um the first day getting out of surgery uh i did feel pain because you can literally feel the liquid going down your 
your esophagus or your throat whatever you feel it coming down and then once it hits your stomach it's when it when it hurts like it burns I don't, I don't know it was a weird feeling and i did i was scared to drink because i was, I was it was hurting it was like pain so um, that lasted for about probably like a couple days and then it went away and then it went back i was like that for on and off for like a month I also they tell you to walk you have to walk and walk and walk to get the I guess to get the gas out so I was walking in the hallway of the hotel I was walking in the lobby I was going up and down the stairs I was like, doing all these things to get that gas out um I really it wasn't really like that bad but you do feel your stomach like big <sighs> and that was that and then the um, the other thing that I was going to mention was that oh the first month that I had surgery I did end up hospitalized because I was low in iron I was low in vitamin D I was low in uh, potassium and my hands like the first month was the hardest for me because I guess your body's getting um, adjusted to it to the new you know your, your new stomach and the way you're eating uh, my fingers were literally like cringe like I couldn't like open them at all like I, I, I was, it was bad so I'm like you know what I'm gonna go to a doctor because I don't feel something's not right like something's not right I know it was something with vitamins or minerals or something I knew it was something because I wasn't taking in you know as much of the the vitamins that I had to take so then um I went to the ER they did give me they put in the IV they put iron in my IV, they put potassium, they put the vitamin D and other stuff because I was really low. Again, this was only the first month was the hardest for me. Um, I I did struggle a lot. I was like, it was hard for me to adjust because I was always tired. Even though before my surgery I had uh, low, I was iron deficiency, like my iron was low. Um, I was still taking my vitamins so I was like oh, I don't think it's gonna be a problem even the doctor said it wasn't gonna be a problem because I was gonna keep on taking the medications but I did stop all my vitamins and everything that the um, the first week of surgery I didn't take anything until like, like like the second or third week and I think that's why I went to the hospital because I wasn't feeling right so after that I went um, after the first month everything was perfect like I was eating I was drinking I was I was like nothing like I was eating um, whatever I had to eat now I was I was really scared to try uh, spicy uh, food or lemon or some like acids in my stomach because I was like it's gonna burn but no like I tried it with my soups and I like um, with my food I put a little bit of hot sauce and I had no issues at all like I said the, after the first month I was happy <laughs> I was happy at this point my first month I already lost like 35 pounds 40 pounds and then you start losing like slowly you know throughout the year uh, but I did lose 100 pounds in one year for sure and I do not regret it at all I don't regret it um even before my surgery I didn't have health issues it was I was just really big and I'll put pictures on here somewhere so you can see um what my before and after <laughs> like I mean, I, I still I still have to work on it because I do have like loose skin even on my arms like I feel them loose but again it's all I mean I'm starting to work out um, if I want to keep you know the the weight off I have to you know eat healthy and but even though I don't think it's hard for me to be in a diet or anything because literally I'll get full with like two pieces of broccoli like I'm done you know so it's not really that hard like now that I'm with now that I had this surgery one thing that I didn't like about surgery or something that like a side effect that I didn't enjoy was that I had a uh, hair loss like a lot of hair loss like chunks of hair would fall out and I knew that was gonna happen they told me I have a couple of friends that did the surgery even the doctor told me that that was gonna happen but it's different when you like it happens like when it happens to you and I'm like oh my god what am I gonna do am I gonna wear wigs am I gonna wear extensions I did buy extensions but I mean it's stopped the way the hair loss stops after like five or six months and um and that's what I'm like okay you know what it's fine I know it's gonna grow back I mean it's already growing back all these baby hairs that I have like all these um hairs that I have they're growing um so I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but I mean, you do lose, you do lose, a, like, 
60% of your hair, to be honest, like 60%. For sure, half of your hair will, you'll lose half of your hair with this surgery. And I asked a bunch of people and they all had, it, it all happened to them too. So I know this is something that will happen if you do consider on having surgery. Um, this will happen. Um, but I mean, it grows back. Hopefully. What else were they gonna say? Oh, uh, yeah, for the hospital. Yeah, I already said that. So again, I did the surgery in Chihuahua, Mexico, and not Chihuahua City. Um, that's where I went to get the surgery. And I will leave information of the doctor if you want to know what doctor I went to. I you could message me or comment down below and see if you want, you know, information or friends or family that could always reach out to me and ask me. But I do not regret it at all, <laughs> at all. I mean, I think like if you start eating the with the same like well. Yeah, if you start eating the same way as before your surgery, um, you won't even gain all the way back. You will gain probably some because you're eating more, but you will not get all the way back because your stomach is not capable of holding that much food like before. So, uh, would I do it again? Yes, I will. <laughs> would I take my vitamins the very first day that I had got out of surgery? Yes, because I wouldn't want to go to the hospital. I was feeling really bad, to be honest. I was scared. I'm like, I'm going to die or something, you know? But no, I mean, everything worked out. Um, I feel fine now. I eat whatever I want. I just um, try to keep it balanced um, in my meals. Because like I said, if I eat a taco or a torta or something, I mean, what nutrients am I getting there? So I just try to like keep it balanced. I do eat whatever I want. I, I do eat whatever I want. I drink whatever I want. But the thing is that I don't eat as much as before. I feel like now when I get on a diet, I lose weight like fast. Like because I've... When I, well, when I eat healthy, I lose weight fast. I keep losing, 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 losing. But then I stop and, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's all in, in the, men, it's all in the mind. Like, you'd be like, you know what, like, why am I doing this? Like, I did this surgery. I wasted all this money to do it. Like, why am I going to go back to the old habits that I had before, you know? But, I mean, I'm happy now. I'm excited now um, to see how my body reacts to this years from now i'm not sure if i'm still gonna be losing weight i don't know but i do as of now i'm still losing weight and i like my body i just noticed that i've i'm losing weight like my like my stomach like my stomach down like up here i feel like i'm big still i don't know why like i have no idea i always lose weight on my legs on my stomach on my butt but come on the arms girl the arms <laughs> but yeah uh but other than that everything is fine any questions any comments concerns feel free to reach out and i'll be more than happy to answer any questions or any comments that you guys have okay thanks for watching peace